Hi guys, uh, this is EBP Man with Tablets for Me.com, and we're going to go through today a upgrade of your Samsung Galaxy uh, Tablet 10.1. Ice Cream Sandwich is currently available, but it's only available if you install this Keys software. So if you notice at the very top, Samsung.com forward slash US forward slash K I E S forward slash. This is where you'll get the software that you'll use to perform your upgrade. And as you notice there on the screen, it's available both for Windows and Mac. So what you'll see is in a couple seconds is the upgrade process and how it went for me as I use this software and upgraded my Samsung Galaxy uh, 10.1. Keep in mind, if you don't want to install the software, um, you can wait a couple days and it will be available uh, over Wi-Fi. But I just wanted to see how it works now. So the first thing that you're going to need is to make sure that you have the Keys software. Keys or Kai's, I don't know exactly how it's pronounced, uh, whatever it's called from Samsung installed on your tablet. Now this is needed so that you can do the upgrade. The upgrade is going to be available over the air, but this is if you want to upgrade now and you don't want it want to wait, you could just plug in your tablet and as soon as you do, all you have to do is uh, follow the prompts on the screen. And as you can see here, it's already prompting me for the upgrade. So I'm just going to hit update. The next thing you have to do is go through all the blah 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 which is looking at all the disclaimers. What you should do, how your tablet should be fully charged, how you should have backed it up, and um, agree that you've read all the instructions. I've done all this stuff so I'm going to go ahead and continue. The next step is to actually download the file uh, firmware uh, to the actual device. So it's in process of doing that right now. 100%. This is what you'll see on your actually Galaxy Tab. You'll notice it says do not turn off the tab. It's downloading now. Let's see how long it takes. About three minutes have passed and as you can see the download is still taking place so the firmware is being um, placed on the Galaxy tab. Let's give it a couple more minutes and we'll come back to the yeah, report. Really quickly now. So we're hitting about 99% and we're just 1% up to hit 100%. So now what should happen is we should see the actual installation process take place. Let's wait a couple seconds so we can see that happen. Alright, so you see my screen went blank. If we go to my PC, you'll see that firmware upgrade successfully complete. We start the device and reconnect the cable. So we're going to disconnect and reconnect it. And if we go back, you'll notice that the actual now software update is taking place. So we should see, you know, the typical Google Android type updates taking place. And there it goes. And we'll just go through the startup and we'll see what's changed. The actual update took place. Um, firmware was installed and you saw the little happy Android guy doing its work. Now what you'll see, and this is normal, you'll see uh, the little message that says that Android is upgrading and it's uh, going through the application optimization. So hopefully that will be a little bit clearer there. Sorry about that. And I have quite a bit of applications installed. So this will be a good test. Um, typically the upgrades keep your applications intact. Uh, sometimes I found that the widgets um, have to be reset, but let's see what changes. I'll come back to this because it'll take a while to go through all my apps. So the actual updating or optimization that was taking place on the apps has uh, concluded and I've logged into the tablet as you normally would and it connected to my Wi-Fi network automatically and you'll notice that it's still going through an installation process. Uh, the navigation bar has changed somewhat um, already on the bottom. Uh, that's uh, changed a little bit. Uh, there's this icon here and we still have our shortcut tray. I believe that was still there. I'll have to check one of my other tablets. And um, there's definitely some changes in the fonts because the bar does look um, a little bit different. So what we'll do is we'll let this go through the process. It's right now just saying installing applications. Let's see if I can focus in on that a little bit better and we'll see what happens next so again I'm still going through the installation process you'll notice uh, Kindle the Kindle app is being installed we saw some other icons showing up continue to monitor and see uh, should take no more than a couple right, minutes so it looks like the update is complete um, one thing that I immediately uh, mentioned is that all of my widgets and application folders, anything that I had on the screen has been reset. 
Um, I've seen this happen before with um, other um, Android updates. This happened to the Samsung Galaxy S2 when it was upgraded to Ice Cream Sandwich. So um, this seems to be pretty pretty common uh, once you do the updates. Um, you'll notice that there are some changes. You know, One of the things I'll, I'll mention right off the bat is that now uh, on this little launch in dock, you have alarm, um, an alarm available. You also have access to your music player. Um, also, looks like um, some pen type applications. We'll take a look at this a little bit later. And I think, oh, this is cool. Um, you can actually, looks like you can you can customize it. So we'll take a look at what are all the changes um, in the uh, in the next video. But once again, it's a pretty straightforward process. Um, all you have to do is make sure that you download the keys software. Once you download the keys software. Uh, you'll be able to do the update and as you saw it's just a little time consuming but it's not that painful at all uh, and just make sure that you've backed up any information you think that is important like your music files or your or any uh, documents that you may want to before you do this because not all updates go um, smooth uh, so make sure you do that